The Spruce Grove Saints take it on the Old Grizzlies Thursday night at the Grand Fury Arena. Skip right on to the second period. Saints on the power play. Puck comes back to Sean Comrie. He throws it over to Jamison Ree. Ree then passes it down low for Jordan Byro, who sets up Garen Magnus for the one-timer. He makes no mistake. Saints take a 1-0 lead. Brad Forrest fires it on goal. It goes off Seth fighting and in. Saints take a 2-0 lead. Holds on the attack. Zach Bannister comes down the right wing side. He then feeds it in front for Mitchell Visser, who makes no mistake. Saints lead 2-1. Spruce Grove back in the offensive zone. Brad Forrest fires it on goal. It goes off Byro's stick. Then Fighten puts home the rebound for his second on the night. Still in the second period. Saints on the power play once again. Harris goes cross ice for Van Osha, who feeds Parker Soretsky back door and he scores, giving the Saints a 4-1 lead heading into the third period. Tyson Grunninger comes down the left wing side. He fires it on net. Josh Harris then finishes it off. The Saints lead 5-1. Saints down low in the old zone. Jordan Byro muscles off a couple Grizzlies. He then feeds Logan Ganey in the slot who scores. Saints lead 6-1. The Old Grizzlies would add another one late, but the Saints defeat Olds by a final score of 6-2. The final shots on goal, 39-21 in favor of Spruce Grove. Joined here with Saints assistant coach Derek Martin. Just talk about the game tonight. What were your thoughts? Yeah, we, we didn't have maybe the start that we wanted at home, but 0-0 uh, zero, zero after one, we, we came into the dressing room, uh, made a couple of minor adjustments, went back out, and I thought that we were definitely the better team in the final 40. And third periods this year have been your guys' asset. Obviously, the Lions today looked really good, all even and all playing very well. What was the message in practice or in the dressing room to get the boys all to contribute like that? Uh, it's just a continued commitment to the to the group, and everybody's holding themselves to a higher standard. And, and I think you're seeing that in our gameplay. Everybody's out there for each other. Even tonight, when the game turned a little bit physical, um, we were all there for each other and, and working together to to win the hockey game. I'm joined here with Saints goaltender Braden Steven. Just talk about your performance tonight and your AJHL debut. Uh, yeah, I felt really good uh, at first. You know, I was a little bit nervous, but I think once the game started going, I made a couple of saves. I started to get comfortable, and the boys helped me out a lot. So, and obviously, you spend your time with the KC Mid Triple A Pats in Edmonton here, and uh, good numbers so far this year. You got a 2.68 goals against average and a .924 save percentage. Just talk about the transition from Mid to Triple up to Junior A. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit faster, shots a little bit harder, but I think once I get in the game, I feel a little comfortable. I see the puck really well. Joined here with Seth fighting two goals tonight, including the game winner. Just talk about those plays. Uh, just got to go to the net hard. That's what I did, and we've been talking about it. You just got to get in front get in front of the eyes, and uh, luckily the rebound just popped out to me and uh, got one tip off the other one. So. Now that first one, we were debating it upstairs. Did it go off your skate, knee, leg? What was it? Uh, I think it just clipped the back of my heel. So I was trying to dodge it, but it ended up clipping me and going in. So, Nonetheless, it went in and they all count. Uh, thanks for your time and good luck tomorrow against Grand Prairie. All right, thank you.